Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time it is when you're watching this after this video. Um, it's just me again today. Uh, Mr. Rudy's still in Texas, but he's doing well. And he's missing you just as I am. Um, but today we've got another great lesson. Uh, this lesson is again about Moses, and we're going to take a little bit of time to uh, remember what we learned about Moses last week about how. When God has a job for us to do, when God had a job for Moses to do, it wasn't necessarily an easy job, but God was there for him to do it, and God was helping him and getting him through his plan. And that's what God will do for us. Let's take a minute and just pray about that right now. So, uh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together. We thank you for the opportunity to do these lessons. While we miss being together, Lord, we know that in your presence we are together and that you're, we're always in your presence. We, we pray to you to help us learn, help us help other people, help us to be the very best children of God that we can be. And we pray for this in Jesus' name and we say amen. So today we're going to talk about, you can watch the video, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, the time that um, it, it came time for Moses to lead the children of God, the Israelites, out of the captivity in Egypt and to take them away from that, that the Pharaoh, to take them out of slavery. And we'll see that um, by the time that this became the perfect time to, for God's will to take place, um, the Israelites had to leave in their in a hurry because the Egyptians wanted them out of there as fast as possible. And you'll see in the video why that was the case. But God provided a way out and that's what God does. He, his will will be done and he will pro provide the way. In spite of the fact that this was what God wanted to have happen and this is what Moses was doing, Pharaoh didn't play along with it a hundred percent. And so Pharaoh started chasing them and it became scary and it became um, a, a, another very difficult time for the Israelites. So Pharaoh chased them. Moses led them away. He trusted in God and, and God, God's worthy of us trusting in him. So we'll see that the big lessons here, we'll see about God's grace. We'll see that God's power was was evident to the Israelites and also to the Egyptians. He had he had mercy on the Israelites, the children of God. He had mercy on them and continued to protect them by showing an amazing amount of strength and the ability to do things that no one ever would have expected him to do. So you'll see that and we'll see that in addition to his grace God delivered them. They'd been slaves in Egypt for 430 years. And when it came his time, when he had Moses in place, and he had all the things in place for his plan to be completed, he rescued them from slavery in Egypt. It was one of the greatest acts in the Old Testament, where he took his people, enslaved for so long, and freed them. And he used Moses to do that. And we see also that now that they are free, they are no longer under slavery. The, the Israelites, descendants of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and, and their, their sons, they went from being honored guest in Egypt to being an unwelcome uh, set of foreigners that the Egyptians did not like. And when God brought them out of Egypt, he, pro he led them to the promised land. That's what he was doing. And he reestablished his special promise, his covenant that he had with the Israelites. Now they're free again, and as you'll see, they're able to be reborn as a nation of his people. So it's a very, very exciting time for Moses and the Israelites, the Jews, the Hebrew nation. This is what the Bible in the Old Testament tells us about, about God's promises with those people. And it's very much like, and we'll talk a little bit later about how this is very much like 
how God frees us through Jesus by having us be reborn and delivered from sin. So pay really close attention as you're watching to the video about how Moses brought the Israelites out of slavery because there's a lot of there's a lot of truth there when we're looking at how Jesus takes us out of slavery to sin as well. So we're looking forward to seeing you and in the meantime I hope the videos and the lessons are helping you. Ask your folks or the adults or the grown kids in your family to help you with the printouts. There's coloring pages and uh, crossword puzzles uploaded for you and I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you're staying safe. I'm, I hope you're getting back to school well and Rudy and I are praying for you, missing you and very much looking forward to seeing you again really soon. But until then, I hope you enjoy these lessons.